All right, welcome students. Um, this is an instructional video that Mr. Finn is going to put together to help you access our course materials through Office 365. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm planning a series of videos um, to help you understand how to access all of our course materials. The first one, um, which is the one I'm sharing with you right now, is just designed to get you into Office, Office 365 and show you the various components of Office 365. So from the LCBI website, if you go to four students and then teacher websites and you click on my site and don't click on my name, make sure you click on my site. So you click on my site, you'll see the Office 365 login page and my site's changed. There's no other links here. So if you click on this link, it takes you to the board's Office 365 um, login page. Um, so I'm going to sign in as a student. Um, so you will use your Active Directory uh, user ID and password, the same ones you use to get on computers at the school, to log in and access Office 365. So you put those in here, you click Sign In, and you're in Office 365. So I'm not going to store this password. All right, so now you're in Office 365. All right, it starts off, um, it starts off with your, uh, I'm just going to close those reminders starts off in your Outlook uh, inbox, all right, when you log in. So this is your our email system. So I have sent um, this particular student a bunch of emails um, welcoming to the course. You're going to get a bunch of emails that are unread here that you can read that will contain links to get to different parts in the course. Um, as well, you're going to see down here that you belong to a group. Now, this particular student belongs to all three groups for all three of my courses. So you will see our course here. Um, so if you were in my grade 10 class, uh, you click on that group and it will take you to our group page. All right, now when we're inside the group, um, if you click on files, it will take you to a folder that contains a bunch of files for our course. So you can see that I put the course outline in there as well. All right, if we go back, um, the other thing you can do in a group is you can click on a calendar and it will give you a calendar for the course. Now, anytime I upload a file or change something in the calendar, I have it set up. Um, I have it set up to send you a reminder um, in your Outlook inbox. Okay, now if you click this little bunch of squares up here, you'll get another menu that comes up that contains all the different aspects of Office 365. Don't know why it's not working. Okay, now I've clicked it and it's open. Um, you can see there's a bunch of different aspects in Office 365. So here's your email um, where you can communicate with me over email. Here's your calendar where you can see the calendar. People let you access the directory, um, all right, for all the different people. Every student and staff in the board has an Office 365 account. So that'll allow you to access the directory. Um, Yammer is like the uh, Microsoft business version of Facebook, which we're not going to use. Um, and OneDrive is uh, a place where you can store files online and I can share files with you online. So if we click on OneDrive, when it comes up, um, you, can, you can upload files here and store them online. And when you upload files, you'll be able to share them with me to get feedback and do some things, but that's the topic of another video. Um, and right now, if you click Shared with me, then there will be a file shared with you that is the notebook file for our course. So this particular student's got them for all of my courses and some test ones I made, but with, depending on the course you're in, you should see uh, a notebook file um, there for you to click on. All right, the last thing I want to share with you about Office 365 is if you click on this button here, it will allow you to download. Uh, I'm not going to do it because I already have it, but it'll allow you to install um, 
as long as you're a student at the school, it'll allow you to install the new versions of these programs, all right, on either a Mac, smartphone, or iPod, all right, um, or your PC so that you can participate in, in Office 365. All right, so that's just a little introduction into Office 365. A um, uh, couple more videos to follow. One, how to access and open our course notebook in OneNote, and another one to follow that we're going to look at is uh, how to upload a file that you would want formative feedback on and share it with Mr. Finn so I can give you formative feedback. So those are to come in the days ahead. All right, thank you very much. Goodbye.